Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Ridwan Ibrahim. In this video, I will be introducing to you a software called Quick Civil Series, and then it is also called Quick Structure. It is also called Civil Soft Software. All right, it is um a software for structural analysis and design, and it is one of the easiest and fastest softwares that you can use when it comes to design of a building structures okay so when you have um you know simple structures it might be regular it might be irregular it might be anyhow in as much it is a building structure the fastest and easiest software you can ever think of is quick civil series um so i will be making a complete course on this um on this software um so in this first video this is the first video so what i'll be doing in this first video is just to introduce to you the interface and you know show you what you can do and what you cannot do all right so um this is what it looks like this is um a three-story building i think so right now i am in the foundation level you can see that the bottom here you can see this is foundation so that tells you i'm at foundation level and you can see the level the level is zero meter all right so the next level you can see the new upper floor height which is the next level that is above this level it is at a distance of 3.15 meter which is 3150 millimeters all right so this is the next level so if you click on this forward arrow this forward arrow so it will take you to the next story now you can see this story is now first story okay um, it's now first story and then you can see the current level the current level is now 3150 you know that's exactly what we confirmed earlier and then the new other one is also at 3.15 meter above again okay so if you click on this one more time you will come to the second story okay so let me try to okay so this is um kind of small although i'll just come to um view over here and then you can see the drawing scale so i will try to reduce the drawing scale to let's say um 75 then you see it will become bigger you can take it to 50 then you see it is um now even uh better so in this software you can't zoom but you can use all of this scroll button okay so you can use this scroll button the scroll button the vertical scroll and the horizontal scroll all right so um let's see the 3d view you can still be in the view section you can see i'm in the view section so you can click on the 3d view all right and then this is what it looks like in 3d so this looks um bigger so what you just do is try to reduce this let's say 100 or um let's see how certain let me just put it in 15 okay so i'll put it in no sorry i'll put it in 100 okay i think 150 will be perfect i just want a skill that will show me everything in one in one page all right so this is what um the story looks like you can see it is a three-story building okay so from this bottom point up to this point that's one story from this position up to this position that's another story and then from this position to another position that is another story okay so it is a three um story building so if i come back to the modeling you can come to modeling you can come to home regardless of whatever i want to check so um let me go back to the plan view so you go back to the view and then you click on floor view okay so that's the view so um so you can go ahead and see all the views here you see you have the home tab and of course you can imagine what you can do in the home tab so you have the new project if you want to create a new project open a project save save as you know and then you have your shape or line style if you click on this you see uh, you know all you can change so that's all you can do in the home tab and you have the prepare slash print basically this is where you print your drawing all right so if you want to print your calculation sheet your you know setting your title block um everything like that so that's what you do here basically this is where you can print and export to autocad if you want to export to autocad if you want to export to pdf directly you can export to pdf so this software you can actually export to pdf directly is because it is a complete structure is a complete software which simply means after the software has 
analyzed and designed your structure it can perfectly detail your structure i mean perfectly detail your structure as if you did it uh, manually okay but as a structural engineer you might want to add or remove some things but i promise you you have little things to edit in the um in the in the in the in the details okay including the slab details it is very accurate okay so you can easily prepare your title block so you fill in the details for your title block and everything and then you can just print your drawings in that title block so easily you can just export to pdf without even having to take it to autocad okay but personally i like taking it to autocad and trying to rescue and you know do some kind of stuff like that but you can also rescale your drawing here okay you can see it here rescale your drawing but i just prefer to do it in autocad all right so you have the modeling mo modeling tab the modeling tab that's where you do you know a lot of the modeling where you put the beam you put the column you do all stuff like that and then you have the uh drawing to uh the drawing to so this is where you pick the drawing to for example if you need a circle semicircle and then you know stuff like that here the design this is where you design your structure obviously as it seems so the detailing this is where you view the detailed drawing for example this is a um a building that i have analyzed and designed so um the detail is here already let's see the um let's just see uh let's see the floor slab detail okay so we can check anyone you want to check but how we just check the um flood slab detail so click on floor slab detail and then let's wait for it to bring it up okay so you can see what we have right so you can see how the detail looks like so right now you can see how this looks like it is very perfect it looks so great this is how you detail your slab if you wish to detail your slab manually so if you wish you can just print this directly but if i want to work with this i would like to take it to autocad and try to scale it maybe times two so that it can be times two bigger and then maybe all this line you can see it is kind of far to the drawing so i can just move it forward and you know so these are the little things you can do in autocad it's not like you go to autocad and start detailing from top to bottom so it is a very fast software you have all your column details part footing you know raft beam and then you know all stuff like that and the quantity of course you can imagine what you have in the quantity that's where you have the bar bending schedule so you can create the bar bending schedule and everything since it's automatically details it can automatically generate the bar bending schedule so it is a uh, very um nice software you can also create um you can also calculate your volume of concrete so the concrete that has been used if you want to you know estimate your concrete so you can easily get the volume and then from there you can continue your calculation get the wet volume and then you can know the volume of the concrete that will be used to calculate then you can from there you can deduce the number of cements number of granites number of sand and i'm talking about you know number of sand in tonnage and everything like that so um the view i've shown you the view this way you can just change the 3d view and everything like that of course modify this is where you, you know do a lot of things like match property erase some things move and many more and you have tools okay so the detailing to the steel structures here you can just you know create uh, a building truss and then try to load your truss you do the truss analysis basically um the steel part is not so wide okay so you can do the truss and you also have the you know the the truss generally okay or just the truss so you can do the steel truss section design you can model your truss you know because as i said it is like uh, you know a normal building structure so you can just have like a you know a roof truss so you just do all of that load it design it and then you can do the detailing you can see the truss detailing okay and then sketch part sketch part is when you just want to sketch something like a staircase okay so you can just sketch a staircase and then you you know you design it or you want to sketch a particular beam span and then you know analyze and design so that is what um the software will do for you i think this should be uh, a good enough introduction to this software so in the next video we will begin properly where i will start to show you how you can model the different method you can use to model your structure in quick civil series software so watch out for the next video and then keep in touch i'll make it as short and concise as possible so that whosoever is learning the software you have the thorough knowledge of it so thank you for watching and watch out for my next video